Okay, and welcome back to the second game here, there, and nice, lovely burn in the second round of the Swiss Championships. We have uh, Wizards Mix 2, which is the second team from Geneva, against Fab Mix Hip, which is the second team here from the Fab team in Bern. For those who watched the game before, this is actually the second team of the same club. They are now sporting the lovely blue shirts against uh, Geneva playing in gray. So again, we will start. They have them some small communication going on there, how many women have to be on the field. Because in the mixed division, it's always either four or three women on the field. And the teams, of course, need to have the same number of uh, women and men. Otherwise, it would get really confusing and strange. I'm here. Uh, together with uh, Luzi and I'm Ulrike. Yeah, and welcome. There, we're starting off with the poll from the Wizards to welcome Fab. Back. And Fab can start from the break point because the this did not land in or even on the line. As um, Rindlisbacher, in this case it's Rahel. Oh, the sister of yeah. No. We just saw her sister in the game before. Starting off there with a really nice fast play to Jonathan Cole. Oh my god, he's an export from Lausanne. He used to play with the play high team from Lausanne. You have so many players moving around in Switzerland, like sometimes it's confusing. Yeah, it's sometimes not that it's far to move here in Switzerland, yeah. I would say. And all of a sudden you discover a player on a different team there. So we got you get there, Fab starting really quickly with the first point. They're on serve, they started on offense with the point. Pretty nice passing and flow. And then the score by Cole. So now both teams setting up again. And it's always the team that scored the point that will get to pull the disc, like trying to throw it as far as they can to the other team and then the other team has to start from wherever the disc landed when it landed inside the field or they can then take it from so-called brick point to play. So there we have number 80 with the disc for Fab to pull and we have him and we have uh, Vala who's still talking to his team to give a few last words. Usually both teams, they only have uh, about a minute to set up the lines between the points, just to keep everything rolling. But sometimes people, they take a little bit longer to actually set that up. This is a really nice pull from Fab. We got Richardson picking up, passing it to Vara. Hunter set playing there. Really nice pass to number 47. She's surveying her options, giving it back to Dimitri Mala. And then Richardson with the disc, looking for a deep shot. It did not come out of his hand as he was hoping to do. So now Fab, they get their first chance at a break. Very so. Okay. Interesting there, also both teams sporting Really nice jerseys, many with their numbers. And in this case here, we have a meeting with teams that don't necessarily speak the same language. So we have uh, Bern speaking Swiss German and Geneva speaking French. So when they have to communicate on the field, it's often then in English. We have Clemens Haller, who is actually also a French speaking player, originating from Neuchâtel, playing with Fab. Now we get here number 19, firmly with the disc, 271, Schley, looking for his options. We got a pick call. Yeah, nice friction there by Haller to catch that disc because it's always important to keep that disc alive because if the disc is on the ground after a pick, it's even much more discussion. The disc is still in the team's hand makes it much easier to resolve the issues. 
<laughs> so this goes back to Schley. And now again, Haller. Oh, oh great <laughs> reaction there by uh, Shivana. Shivana. Mm, Born in Austria <laughs> and has already played for nine years, oh, so yeah. pretty oh, experienced this player. Unfortunate pass. I think there was maybe a hand block there to get this out of the field. Really nice action there on the defense by Vala. Tying his shoes. This is starting in the hands of Richardson. He's like a very experienced player. You can tell by the gray hair. He's sporting. <coughs> and uh, he there he takes this where it went out of the field. That's why he could walk it up a little bit line because it up the line because it crossed from there. Still Geneva. Nice throw there. Oh, uh, Aaron throw. Nicely saved by number 17. He's looking now for his option. Passing it to Richardson, who's really working hard against Shivana to get free. Doing a great job passing it to Vala. Also a very experienced player. As I'm just looking at the list of the players, Vala playing 23 years, even longer than Jakob in the last game. So a bunch of years. Yeah, yeah these are actually some of around. these players here are already grandmasters or even <laughs> great grandmasters. Wow. Work against the team that has a lot of youngsters also again in the burn side. Yeah. You can tell like uh, compared to the uh, uh, fab team that we saw before here m the younger players maybe don't have as much experience as the players we saw in the first game. Yeah. But often like the second teams are have a lot of focus on development also for the Wizards so these are uh, usually have good mixes of experience and younger players just to build these players up give them the experience of competitive games like the ones we have here and then to play it and this is how you get better we play print up competition and Richardson still giving it all Skying people, ah. oh, unfortunate drop there by number 17. Maxime Ayo. And we got Clemens Haller picking up the disc. Looking for a dump, not quite finding it, but a nice option there by number 31. There's a tiny bit high. Again, Richardson with the disc, looking for its options, looking for Vala. I think these two will shoulder, have to shoulder quite a lot of work for the teams if they're playing the handlers. Now we got number 17, Ayo with the disc. <laughs> He's trying to <laughs> make uh, Andy Richardson move. There we go, running fast, always good if you have legs. Catching the disc just outside of the end zone. Dishing it back to Richardson and then with the score for the number 25. Which is, I think it's 15, which is Vincent Lambelet. Okay. If I can see <coughs> it properly. No, it's 35, I'm sorry. We don't have it on, on the list, but yeah. number 35. Mystery, mystery player, but he did a really good job for yes. his team, <laughs> number 35. So we have it tied 1-1 after two points. After a really quick first point of yes. Fab, we had a pretty long one here, which took about quite yeah. a few minutes. There we go, the little pass. Like also again here, as we saw in the game before, we have these really nice small plays before in front of the end zone, instead of trying to put it in right away, rather dish it off to a handler who then has a better vision, vision to pass it to your team. Now we start again. We have actually Flo Cassiel, another very experienced player for the Wizards, starting with the pole. 
Pab is setting up also there. We have number 13, Linda Lederer. She's actually the one who responsible for the planning of the matches. Oh, like thanks to her then, yeah. She's doing a lot of work in the Swiss Federation around the organization of uh, the Swiss Championships. <coughs> there she but nice to see that she can enjoy yes. her work herself now yeah. playing on the field. Oh, she loves to play. She's like a yeah. very ferocious player, always giving 200% uh, on the field. There we get high disc and and it was like a not even an air fight. It was just yeah. misread by everybody involved in the in, in the play. Again, Flo Kassian is picking up the disc. Finds number 22. Georgina Albel, 32. Lofty throw Albel, yeah. to number 77. Ariel Bernier, looking for a dump. And again, Kassian trying to get free. Nice. Gets the dish. Pass it to number 10. To Jan Sai, 35 19. years old from France, playing now for Geneva, as we see. And Geneva Back has a lot of French players on yeah, that team because yeah. it's so close to the French border. Yeah, we have it, even someone from France. Uh, we have French and Spanish players, a lot of oh. Swiss. Yeah. Unfortunately, it kind of bounced off out of her hands for number 62, Marie Berda. And Linda back on the disc. Oh, nice. Made a throw in there. Came in with the disc. A bit of a miscommunication. This is turning into another slightly messy point, just like the one before. And also, maybe teams kind of need to get the jitters out of their heads that they're being filmed. Like sometimes, p for whatever reason, when you, you're being filmed, teams are getting stressed out. Okay, Cassiel. Cassiel doing a lot of work yes. here in this game. But he's kind of the, the anchor of this line here, yeah. I think, being the most experienced player in, in this. And I think number 777. Oh, but this one is not. Yes, that was a good reaction there. Oh, Linda falling down onto the ground. And Cassiel going back on the disc. And talking about him, we, we have a list with a lot of fun facts. And he's not just a good frisbee player, but also he won um, in the French Barbecue Championship 2018. So he must g be a good cook as well. Oh. And he didn't go to this championship with uh, Geneva, of course, but with U Pork. Oh. <laughs> His team was called at the barbecue championship. Just as a little side note about Florian Scassiel. And now we have another turn. What a fortunate throw away there from Geneva. <laughs> Setting up the defense. And again, we get uh, Linda Lederach on the disc. 87, undefended. Oh, trying to shoot deep. Unfortunately, his receiver did not expect what was flying at him there completely out of position and could not correct for this one, the number 90. Against Cassiel, oh. Unfortunate disc, too close to the ground for number 22 to pick it up. And Lederach again with the disc to number 11, Jonathan Cole. Oh, and again, miscommunication. This is, I think both teams need to calm down a little bit. It's getting really, really messy. But what we've seen, kind of uh, rush throws, unadvised throws. So I think just take a little bit of a breath and uh, think a bit more of your throws. Nice. Unfortunately, another one that bounced off of the hands. But I think this is also why it's important to bring your young players to these tournaments, because this is the first time probably that these players have to actually catch such a disc under high pressure. And uh, in this case here now we got Fab. They got lucky, they got that point. So it's a second point for Fab mixed hip. It was really quick, almost didn't see it. There were so many turns in front of the end zone. And I think Fab then made really quick fast work out of the 
the fast break situation that presented itself to score that point. <coughs> so I think now when setting up the line, hopefully the Wizards, the, those who are off the, off, off the field, they could talk to each other, figure out what they want to do. Now we have a larger group of experienced players on the field, again with Richardson and Cottingham. Trying to play it. Again here, Linda for Fab, giving some last minute advice. Yeah, Dreil Rindlisbacher for the disc, which means we have four women on the field. Okay, there we go, we're all set up. So again, we get Fab with two points, with it, with one. I think they're both almost on serve, huh? It's like, not 100% sure. So we got Emily cutting and picking up the disc. Hmm. Nice inside throw there. She's always already a long time player for the Wizards. Took a bit of time off for the family. Now she's back, always nice to see people back on the field there. Yeah. Mm. Kind of not a good, the best decision for that throw. But as I said again, there's probably also a younger player. She needs to kind of learn to work on her throws under higher pressure. Here, number 31 with the disc, looking for her options, trying to side. Does she like what she sees? Upline option denied by number 52 from the Wizards. Richardson picking up the disc. So in the field, getting cuts, coming in, doesn't really like what he sees. Oh, oh. nice grab there by Emily Cottingham. <laughs> Put this, oh, people are slipping. Uh, A nice save by number yeah. 17. Yeah, the Geneva. intended target Maxime slipped. Alio. Intended target slipped. Always good to be. Uh, unfortunate. Nice put there, but uh, somehow the receivers did not did not expect that it one would come. And still, the pass was pretty Zingy. near to the line, yeah, so yeah. some to towing would have been mm. needed here in this case. And we have again Rahel Rindisbach on this, the co the playing coach of this Fab team here. No options yet. Puts it to the middle. And again, but defended by number 52. She seems to be always in the right position to, <laughs> to defend it. It's the, her second defense in that point. And again, Andy Richardson picking up the disc. Sporting president on the back of his jersey. And that's a point for the Wizards. Caught by number 47. Which makes it tied again. 2-2 two 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 at this two, point yes. in this game. Nearly 20 minutes played yes. here on field number one in Bern on the Wampdorf like, yeah. Arena. Both teams are slowly figuring each other out. I think uh, still the points are pretty messy, so they need to work a bit more on their connections. But I think when it's going, it's looking good. Yeah. So it's just a few things to, to improve. But uh, I think overall, really nice game for kind of the second teams of these clubs really focused here is really as I said before on development for these players yeah totally we see nice flows here but still a few turns to be reduced yes. during this game yes. and this weekend but sometimes it's like if the turn really comes from a good defense then I think it's normal this can happen but if it's bad decisions or the technical execution and this is something that uh, yeah, should definitely be, be worked on. But this is what these teams are here to, to work on. So it's all already really good. And often within the game, you can actually see how they're getting better. So now the Wizards setting up a zone defense. Interesting there. This gets back in the hand of uh, Linda Lederach, number 13. We Back have like to a Nice swing there. Good look. Oh. Jonathan Coe tried to slide down to the ground, but the disc was just too low for him to get his hand underneath it. Now, the Wizards have the disc, what they wanted with their zone defense. 
Now again, Skaskiel with the disc. Puts it deep. High pass here, Get both have a chance, and his colleague gets nice grab there point. by Vincent. So Geneva again in front in this game. Yes. 3 2. And this is actually a break for them now. So, because uh, they just scored the point before. So, there the zone did their job, and I think here now. They cleaned it out a bit better. Cutting was looked a bit sharper here, and uh, really, really nice grab by number 64 in the end zone there. And this is a rather e exhausting game, I would say, because we have like about 20 minutes played, only five points, so we have an average of four minute points, yeah. which is a really long duration to be on a field. Yes. So we see a lot of already exhausted players. So this is going to be. Yeah. Long game for them, but they, they should be fit enough. It's their first game of, of course, the day. They of haven't course, played a game before. but still, I would say <laughs> yes. it's gonna be not too easy. It's easy, always easy to say that from the sideline <laughs> <laughs> that they should run faster and harder. Okay, we got Dimitri Vala with the disc ready to pull for the Wizards. Got a hand from Fab indicating they're ready. And there you go. Everybody has their own technique for the poles. And then we have a nice pole with some rolling finish. And uh, already again, throwing right into a pack of people and the disc turned. And the Wizards get another chance at a break. Get Vala with the disc, looking for his options. Looking for something deep, and he has a receiver there, and that's a really nice pass well to the end zone, number 47 again. I think it's the first, second point that she scored, 4-2 for, for the Wizards now. And big time cheering here at the sideline <laughs> by the Geneva fans, so <laughs> yeah, meaningful I see. Yeah. Well, they also they have... Uh, Another team in the first league, so they have their, their fan group already with them. Nice. Yeah, it's good to be together as a as teams yes. here. It's always good when your club has two teams, so you always bring yeah. your own, your, you bring your, your yeah. fan <laughs> club with you. <laughs> it's harder if they play at the same time. Like the Lausanne club now, they all play at the same time, so they cannot really cheer for each other. Yeah, okay. And sometimes they play against each other. <laughs> <laughs> Which is even more fun, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but back to the action on hand here. So we have again the Wizards ready to pull because they just had a break. Another one. Number 82 with a nice pull there. Be fielded by Linda Ledrach, number 13. Taking it right into the center. To Franke. Franke also. Not mm. always on a pitch, I just read on the list we have also kite serving a lot. So oh, last okay. week he was on, on the lake. Nice. But nice to have Get him here. Jonathan Cole, nice footwork there. Good read and good look by Linda Lederer to get the disc out of the cup. Another good, great shot there. Jonathan Cole working hard. Franke in the center, saving the disc, looking for options. And a little run running by this three men and one woman cup. So, yes. so this is special to see. Mm. And now they broke nice the cup. Pass Nine by and Linda, Linda puts it deep into the zone. And number eight picks it up there. Happy for that score. Great job there. Great job against the zone with the three handlers. Playing back and then this really good continuation. And then Lidera to uh, Schramm for the point, so exactly. really, really nice to work there. Yeah, so I think that both teams, they got the, the jitters out because the uh, first game that they play also this weekend, so now the points are getting much cleaner and nicer, so let's hope that continues. Here we see again, Linda puts it deep to Beautiful Schramm. Beautiful shot. Really nice open pass. Mm. 
Okay. So the fab line gets some information from Coach Linda. The Rather one of the younger players in the team, but although she's the coach, 20 years old, born in in March 2002. Holding it there. Wizards can start with a relatively short field, but also Fab is now sporting a zone. I think the Wizards are not too afraid to handle against it. I think they have enough experienced players on the field to actually do that. Richardson again with the disc, looking for Vala. Doesn't really feel it. Nice pass to number 777. It's not often that you see these long numbers no. on people's jerseys. You need Back a big to jersey to have him. those. Yeah. And oh, oh great and grab. Nice and point. I would think it's again number 47. She strikes again. Ines Garcia, 24 years old, 98, born from France. And only, and I think that's not visible only, played two years. In years of Corona now, so oh, amazing. big time talent, I mm. think. What you've seen by now. And she has a good nose for the end zone because it's the third point that she scored wow. for the Wizards. Wow, a third of four points. That's quite a good yeah. <laughs> violence. Nice job there. And a good look also there by by Cottingham to see her there just in the end zone and pass the disc. Okay, both teams are getting ready again. So I think after the first points, that took quite a long time. Now we're accelerating. So points are getting shorter, passes are getting cleaner. And somehow it looks as if both teams play much better against the zone defense and then against the person defense. Mm. Let's see if they'll stick to the Sony or switch back to man. Yes. We have number 22 pulling for the Wizards. Georgina Albel from Spain. And it's a zone again. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> again, get John Finko. And again, this did three cup zone yeah. we have. Uh, ow, mm. wow, nice grab there by Rindlisbacher. And a nice break through the cup. Yes. Open, opening up a lot here. But the cup reaches back to the disc. But not quite making any pressure on the fob here. And again, breaking through the cap to the other zone. Oh. Mm, this was just what he was waiting for. Yeah. Always baiting the deep shot. It's Gassiel using all his experience there to defend really that nice. pass. Nice grab there by Vincent. 64, Ano Loic. Ay, ay, ay. Also from now France. I know why he never answers me when I call <laughs> <laughs> Quite like an explanation here, yeah. Like Jigu. Okay, back to Abel. Special. Jigu. And, and to uh, unfortunately, a little bit too far out yeah. for Ariel Bernier. And let's see if they, and I think they put up the zone again as Linda for Fab is going. Yeah, to get the disc, yeah, it's sewn again. Yes, but they're starting so far back and towards their own end zone, yeah. and they're taking their time. It's like if it. they would run to pick it up super quickly, and they don't have time to set up the cup here, they had all the time in the world to set up that cup. But Fab, I think, is not really, really afraid. Oh, oh great big defense oh, there what a big from the time wall. block. Geneva's 39, Clément Chaler. Yeah, he's deceptively tall. <laughs> yeah, that's good in this case. Mm. Florian at the disc again, looking for a long oh, one. Nice, nice look there for Loic. Finding Loic. And again. And the point. Well played there by Geneva. It's another break for Geneva. Which makes it 5 3. 6 3, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, 6 3, yes. I think you now we have a timeout called. I think Fab, they need to kind of uh, organize some things. And we'll do a little break here by ourselves as well. Yes. Thank you. 
Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a f <laughs> football. Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end zone. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. I'll keep that Okay, time out is over. I had a nice sip of hot tea because it's <laughs> not so super warm here. Rain coming again here in Bern on this second weekend of the Swiss Mixed Championship. Yes. We are here on the game between Wizard from Geneva Mixed 2 and Fab Mixed Hip. Also the second team of yeah. Flying Angels Bern here in this it's the, first game, yeah. it's the first game for these teams today, but for us it's already the first, the second game com com commenting. Exactly. Yeah, the second game in the second round. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we have uh, two leagues in Switzerland, League A and League B, and these teams are in League B, fighting for potentially the chance to m get uh, into the the spot to then play for a, sp a place in the League A. Because the first two teams of the League B will get to play the last two teams of the League A for spots in League A. But here first, they have to win the game. So far, the way for the Wizards is looking a bit better. There. Oh, Linda toes it in. Nice faking here yeah, great. in this zone play again by Geneva. Oh, nice interception here by Mr. President. Richardson, Andy Richardson. Yeah, He's the president of the Wizards Club, which is why he's sporting the president on the back of his jersey. Yeah, the club in Geneva are also known for the Talampaya tournament they organize every year. This is probably also where Flo Cascaziel can use his barbecue skills because they always have a big barbecue there. I see as we talked about before. Yes. Michael Wormley with a nice defense here and Fab again with a chance to get this point here. Mm. But yeah, this a little pass bit of an errant throw, not really going the way he was uh, intending it to throw. And again, Andy Richardson walking to the disc. I guess he's gonna pick it up. Looking for his options, not really liking what he's seeing. Nice pass there to number 47, who usually has the job of scoring the points in the end zone. This time she pointed, yes, and the pick call there. But nice, nice catch by number 95, Hofer, who that looks like a wobbly disc, so they're gonna get some new material. They need to agree if they want to have a disc craft or your <laughs> your disc. There's some snobs out there. Both Which means snobs? What do you mean by that? Both discs are official game discs. Like you okay. can play with either one, but uh, some players only want to play with the disc craft disc. Like it's just a brand. And now actually the wizards decided to use a wizard disc. Which I is disc craft, I guess. I think it's disc craft, but it's also ooh, oh nice, nice interception there. By Calming down his team, that's a good, good action. 
then he's looking deep for Linda. I think he called for his team to come down and he maybe should have also calmed down that one. That was typical, not the typical, typical, best yeah. throw. But on the other hand, it's a question, how was the stall count? Was it going up? And then uh, you rather put it deep and have the other team play from there. Sure. Mm. The world-renowned uh, defensive technique of uh, Hack and D. Yeah. <laughs> so we get number 95 there with the disc. Looking for his options, 47. Great grab there. Nice dump and swing yeah. here also, textbook-like. You can see these two experience there, 37 to Richardson, who's looking deep. Looking deep. And, and we have Schley, who's, ah, could have caught it maybe. Yeah, but number 17, Maxime Alio, he strikes again. Good job there. Initially, we even had a pick call, but I think Shivana, he noticed that uh, his player was not involved in the game. He kind of retracted it in okay. the action. So I think uh, well played there from the Wizards. I think they kept their cool, and especially Maxime Ayo, number 17, really staying cool to catch this on the second effort. Because, yeah, always catch your D, as they say. He can see it again. And here we see it. Pole position and really nice put from Richardson. There we go. And now oh. this would have been the chance to get the disc, so maybe close, even a must-have, yeah. but yeah, still it's yeah. a point for Geneva, which makes it 7-3. Yeah. Great focus there point. by number 17 to catch their one, because sometimes the so-called Ninja D also <laughs> can does its job, but uh, this case, great work there. Teams are setting up. And as you see on the broadcast, and we have a lot of rain now yeah. coming back here in Bern. Yes. We're happy to be under a tent. <laughs> yes, the umbrellas, umbrellas are being sported. I'm really happy that I'm wearing my red pants and my red yellow jacket. There you see it. <laughs> uh, this is <laughs> us. Good. Yeah, but now hiding. let's have a look back at the game where we see the exactly. pool right let's now. Let's go to the action. Over. The Landing outside brings us to the brick, or brings mm. the far up to the brick. Yeah, then we start on the nice little cross painted on the field there. This is how the player know where they can start it from. Cheeky action, he did not even stop. He was just walking it casually and then just passing it. Oh, nice, nice try on the defense there by number 39 from the Wizards. But a lot, like this cup we see here by Geneva, is a lot, a lot of holes. The three people do not quite, can't quite make pressure on the disc, so it's a lot of moving and for them a lot of running here. Maybe a tactic to overthink again. Yes, I think they, they did, now they're switching to person defense. There's actually one unmarked, undefended player. I think uh, she was too far back. Now she's being collected. Number 90 with the disc there. Romney looking for his options. Nice footwork by Franke. Oh, stall out called. You can see people tapping their head. It actually always makes it easy also for uh, us in the commentating booth to, to know what's going on. Stall out there. Thanks to this crazy mark we just saw, so the marker really like didn't quite mark his side, but like was like circling around the yes. thrower. Really active. To up, yeah. Wizards with the disc now. Looking at his options. Florian and Florian. Oh yes, kidding. Oh, and just the calling the timeout. Yes. And That's maybe a stall of zero, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean they have seven points, so they they better use the timeouts that they have, and I think it's a it's a really good call to kind of calm down everybody because people running running around a bit like crazy and just you know. yeah. And approaching halftime, we have 40 minutes played nearly, yes. and also one team has with seven points. So when the wizard if the wizards manage to score their point, it's also halftime on points. So it's Now they had a, there was a moment where both teams cleaned it up a little bit, so in terms of game. But now with the rain coming back in, uh, the game, the points are getting messier again. Yeah. 
But as you said, it seems like also in this case here, the person defense by the wizard actually works better than the zone defense that they're trying to put on. Because especially when their zone is not setting up so super tight and uh, the less experienced players often then you have too many holes and if you have enough experienced players yeah. and we have our, even our cameraman trying to dry the lenses of the camera so hopefully we will keep the the image sharp so that we can bring you all the sharp action from the fields here in Bern. Okay, after the timeout, let's see what the what plan Ruskaziel has cooked up for his team. Wizards are setting up. First the the offense sets up the way they like to and then the defense matches this one. Every and everybody is ready and happy with how they set up, then the game starts. Which is why now people are moving around a little bit, looking. Frank is on the mark. Ruskaziel would pick up the disc. And Frank at the mark. Mm. Nice hard running there by number 39. And a good mark here by Ko. Nice. He learned this in Lausanne. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, yeah. Jumping. I think they had to switch around from their plan. I think now they, they just go back to playing what they see. Nice give and go movement there. Between Casiel and Emmerich. Number 82. <laughs> trying to communicate with their own players. Nice around play there. But unfortunately, Marie, she could not really get there. This was just a bit too much in front for Vidra. Now we have again. Uh, with the disc. Core number 11. Oh. Uh, great defense att attempt there by number 39. Clément Chaler in Geneva. Okay, Emerick is going to pick up the disc. We will probably start looking for Skessiel. Another cutter, 39, pref preferred target for the first cut. Disc in the center, number 19, is looking for options. It's getting a bit excited. Nice positioning there by Skessiel. It's always good when you can rely on on your handler to get free on the resets. And we have a pick call in the stack, so the disc will go back to Skessiel. Okay, I'm Rick with the disc, <laughs> looking for, for options. Cutter is not really cutting. Skessiel, nine cut. Nice movement there. 39 again with the disc. But not really, not really many choices that he has. And Taking the high risk yes. knife pass. It's always a hard one to catch yeah. as well. Because you have so little time to, yeah. to get this pass as a receiver. Maybe just... Coming in hot, yeah, yeah. the direction. Chance. And again, close Co. the gap. Co. Right running there. He's doing so much work there for Fab. Three cuts. Nice catch there by number 87. Almost stumbling. Hitting with the disc. Oh, nice. That's a nice there. flow we see here by Fab. Now it's clicking, and now everybody's running into this space. And the backdoor and pass. Franke. Finding. Bob. And number 68 for the score. An Anina, I don't know if I said it properly. Fallini, Anina Fallini, Fallini. 
for Fab for the score, which makes it 4 7, closing the gap a little bit more. Yeah, trying to come back, but I think now we will probably close in also on half time. See if the other point, next point, is a long one. We get tricky. And this is the score. Thanks to go. our colleagues showing us some nice pictures of the scenery here in Bern. There are nice, nice green fields of the almond here in Bern. They would be much nicer in the sun, but I think they're still lush and green, and uh, the quality of the fields is really, really good. Yeah. And to play here, it's, it's always a great pleasure. And today we have especially soft grass and good to slide on after some layout, so it's also got some positive sides. Okay. So then the Wizards again have another shot at their eighth point. Looking for the options. Ooh, slipping there. There was some great action there. Like in this level, while falling down, he was still able to, to catch the disc. Yeah. Mm. Not quite some yeah. proper handling moves by Vala. To Richardson. Looking for the overhead. Oh, the overhead. <laughs> Oh, nice faking out of the of the defense there. Yes. Oh, good focus there on the second attempt. And again, a lot of time there nice, for Geneva's nice number 52, Tanya Bieri. And this takes us into halftime, which means Eight, both four. teams get a bit of a break and can get some water, can talk about some things. And uh, we will also take that chance to take a little bit break. And um, delight you with uh, maybe some small clips from RTDV from different moments in time. See you in a few minutes. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a football. <laughs> Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Zone. Maybe well. just that boost of the energy they needed. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund our work. To cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. Hallo miteinander, mein Name ist Daniele und ich probiere euch den Backhand näher zu bringen. Wir haben eigentlich im Koffergriff die Scheibe. Man nimmt den Daumen über die Rille vom Frisbee und macht hinten die Faust mit den Fingern, mit den restlichen, dass alles schön zusammen ist, sodass keine Löcher entstehen und man am Schluss die Scheibe gut losführen kann. Nach dem Griff ist der zweite Teil Positionierung. Das macht man, indem man hüftbreit Steht, zum Ziel her schaut, einen Ausfallschritt macht, muss nicht gross sein. Es geht vor allem darum, dass man hier den ganzen Platz hat, um den Backhand zu spielen. 
dass ein guter Backhand gewährleistet ist, ist der Troll entscheidend. Er steht raus und gibt jetzt wirklich ganz am Schluss, wenn man den Frisbee aus der Hand gibt. Das ist wichtiger wie Kraft. Du möchtest so werfen können wie Daniele? Dann melde dich doch unverbindlich bei einem unserer Clubs und erfahre alles über Ultimate, die schnelle Teamsportart mit dem Frisbee. Alle Infos findest du auf unserer Verbandswebseite ultimate.ch. Wir freuen uns, von dir zu hören. Soli, wünsche ich euch viel Spaß im Becken üben. Okay, and we're back. I hope you enjoyed the clips that uh, also Swiss Ultimate made for the Throw Like a Pro campaign and also the nice uh, jingles from UltiGV that bring us right back into the second half of the second game here at the second weekend of the Swiss Championships. We have the Wizards starting on offense. Oh, nice toe in there by Doug. Oh no, they're calling it out. Now the circumstances there. are really getting tougher and tougher. Rain is getting harder, so let's see how the players are going to do with, with the yes. catching and throwing yes. in these conditions. Especially since these teams have a number of less experienced players. So here it might get trickier. I think at the higher league with the high level teams, I think the conditions should not too much of, a, of an aspect. But think. Oh wow, here we see already. Yes, but I think great focus there on that catch. She still managed to, to catch it. Nice job, 87 there, and the pass. And great catch there by number 10. Called in by her colleague yeah, player. The other ones are not as sure now. Yes, that looks... But it's called in. They're calling it in because it looked it was a bit deep on the shot there, but I think she just kept her feet in bounds inside the field. So we there got the club now on the board with the with their fifth point. So maybe the the small kind of hints and tips that they got from 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 their coaches help there and there because. Uh, I think the, the main point that they, they were talking about was that they need to catch their discs and I think this is what they focused on now and uh, everybody caught it and they scored the point. Here we go. Pro and catch like a pro, huh? <laughs> yes. If you have more questions, you can always go to ultimate.ch and look out for throw like a pro. We got some videos there from the Swiss Ultimate Association teaching you how to throw frisbee like a pro in the sun and in the rains I yes. think always possible to do some ultimate playing coming in here Fab is getting ready to pull the disc we have uh, four men on the line for each team and three women which is why the man is pulling the disc a great pull there from Shivana being fielded by Vala or she tried to try to he did not manage to catch the disc and this is called a drop pull, which gives the offense directly to the other team. So now Fab has a really, really short field. They have a really, really good chance of scoring that point. That break Starting even, so it's a really important situation to do it. Great. And Linda and we got brings pull. it in, and but it's called he not in. He was probably sliding on the line. Yeah. Trying to. Oh, wow, Linda. One. Great layout catch. She, she takes some time to get back up because I think she landed really, really hard. 
but great catch there puts by Clemens Haller. For a second time. So this time they were clearly in. Nice job there. I think they started off really lucky with this drop pull, and then uh, kept their cool. Two layouts for for the discs and uh, and led all the to team score. and all the team going for her. Yes. Thanking for her all her intense job. play. And again, because this was was Linda was talking about, they need to catch their discs, and they did, and they scored again. So now they're slowly closing the gap. Six, eight. Wow, here we see it again. Great action yes. by Linda Lederach. Afterwards, she takes a bit of time to get up because she landed really, really hard. And faking it and putting it in again yes. with a huge inside throw. So, yeah, yeah some experience is visible here in this case as well. Yeah. And that's what I said in the Star Trek. She's a really ferocious player, just like a, a fall like this. She shakes it off and then she just a beautiful, beautiful inside flick throw. So it's a little bit tighter now, this game, after a four-point lead. It's only a two-point lead anymore more at the moment. So let's see how Fab can use this momentum they have at the moment here. Yes. Again, great pull there. This time it landed on the ground. They didn't even try to catch it. But the disc is wet now, yes. so that's the trade-off you need to take. But some of these players wear gloves. They're not worried. Oh. And this is miscommunication. Yeah. The movements were good. It's just like a this is where you can tell like it's not they're not fully probably not practiced too much together as a team and now we have Franke at the disc yes. 38 years old and as I just read started studies his uh, studies again new studies at an age of 37 so good oh, luck at that moment student again. yeah <laughs> young old student <laughs> now having some time to get his head filled with sports yes and there was some great, great playing there together with number 87, doing some great, great job there. Oh. Very good attempt there by the FAB player to get a hold of the disc. But if uh, Flos Casiel is trying to lay out right next to you, I think this is a bit intimidating. So the Speed. Wizards again with the disc, but I think he still tried to do a pretty good job of uh, avoiding too much of contact. And the defense there, the funky there. The, the position where the Wizards had to start from is one of the most difficult positions you can have on the field. Great defense there by Loic, Loic Jegu. But still, I think both teams lit need to focus a little bit more yes. at the moment they have And now we're back into a messy phase of the game. It's again, a so-called coffin corner there. Coffin corner, okay. <laughs> yes, but I think it's really nicely resolved there. Jigu with the disc, looking for his options. Number 47 again. She's doing such a great job, job not only in the end zone, also on the field. Somebody cut people cutting deep. Looking is for going his. But I think uh, the FUB players, they kind of anticipated that one, and they were just right there to get into the way. Nice line cutting there for number 87. Anton Elsemans from Belgium. So I think okay. Anton Elsemans or however. Oh, we can pronounce it in uh, German English. Yeah, we try. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, like, I think the pressure is starting. Now that we kind of uh, phrase two too much praise on him the pressure was mounting yeah. too much and we have Flo Casiel back on the disc 
He's breathing hard. And Geneva has really like two main players on each line. We have Scassiel on, on yes. one uh, side and and we have Le President yeah. on the other line. So yeah, I think kind of to have like at least the anchor for the team. This often helps already a lot to stabilize it. And then again we have Loic. Oh great, great focus on that catch there by Jigu to get there. But I think also a good try by the number 87 to kind of defend that one. But still to avoid too much of the contact. I think I really like to, to see that one because you can always go in their heart and then no matter what, but everybody wants to play. So everybody wants to keep their knees and their ankles. So I think good job there for both players to this one. So the Wizards again managed to extend the lead a little bit more, ending the break train that Fab was riding on. And getting back to momentum, I would yes. say. Or as you say, break train. Huh? <laughs> and I think the people that just played that point will be happy to take a little bit of a break. To be. Again. So this time we have the four women on the line. As you can tell by the outstretched arms from some of the players indicating that one. Which also means well means that the women will pull. People complaining about the rain, which is really, really here to stay as it seems for the moment. It's raining really hard. all having fun on the field. And when you're running hard, you hardly ever feel the rain. Again, there, uh, Shivana, getting this buffer for the call. Keep cutting there. Everybody running hard. Great job. Great movements there. Number 81, 71. Schlei oh, great grab there. By Caroline Murer. 27 years old. When I saw that disc go up, I was not expecting that one to end up as a point. Yeah, rather a 50-50 throw here yeah. by Fab. But the money's on the bank, 9-7. Yes. Still a two-point gap. Great job there by Moore. Great focus to catch that one. And here you can see that one again. The pass there from Shivana to Schlei, and then this pass really went up high into the sky. And then another defender was coming in hot, but unafraid. She kept her eyes on the prize and scored that point. There we see a lot of rain going down in Bern yeah. on the fields and on the roads just next to the fields here. But but let's said, focus when on the play, players. When playing, when you're on the field, yeah. you hardly feel that. Way. It's when you're coming off, so you rather stay on the field and play. Maybe that's why the points are so long because people don't want to come off yeah. the field. <laughs> they just want to stay, exactly. keep on playing. That's good they tactics. Won. Okay, everybody cutting and picking up. Guess here looking for his options. But he's got no cuts. Nobody's moving. As you can tell that people are getting tired. Uh, it's too high. Garcia. Can get a hand on this one. And Fab having the chance to score. Yeah, to try to again to close the disc the gap a little bit further. Again 87 with the disc. It's the man, as you said. In this buffer with the disc, Victor is the man. Oh, miscommunication there. Skasiel gets a chance, looking for something deep. <laughs> she usually likes to look for, uh, for Loic, he likes to look for him deep, but I think in this case there was like a miscommunication. He either should have gone this earlier or... Or not at all, because I think he wasn't quite open, but... Not anymore, yeah. Yeah, that's confidence in his... This is yeah, a nice that's good by Rindis Bacher, this is how you do it. Yeah, Follini, nice... Uh, ah. Oh, wow, that's a nice grab there so by Esteban. And oh. this is the score, yeah. and that also this game is getting tighter and tighter yes. in this it's like moment. Eight, nine now. 
Hub is coming in closer again. I think this this also fits the bill of not it started out really pretty, but then it turned into something pretty messy. But uh, somehow Fab made it work with two kind of uh, miraculous catches. See them there coming up. Yeah, she she started it all. Valerian just Bacher with her great great put forward. And a lot of smiling faces walking to the sideline in, in Fab jersey. Yeah. So you can see you see that again, Polini with the catch and then so I think it slipped out wow, of the hand. Yeah. A great grab there. Myers the man and then just the right away there. Yeah. to what to Franke who's no really happy with there. this with this catch. To play. So again, somehow the team that was behind is clawing itself back in. Maybe let's see what happens like in the game before. And this time the lucky end would be for the Fab team before the other Fab team was did not look so happy about the result in the end. Okay, we have the pole going a bit astray. Wizards are picking it up. Richardson, oh, he kind of, he already probably looked forward for the, to play the point and so they just, just slipped through his fingers. So now Fab, they get another chance. We get uh, Linda Lederer picking up the disc. Looking for options, doing the little twirly twirly. Fake. Nice put to Clemens Haller. For options, Shiva now with the disc oh. and defended by Richardson. I think he kind of read that game better than his, the, than the top players did. And you know, with the disc to Richardson, who stays focused, slides, but this looks like he might have been out of out of bounds. Oh no, oh, there! there. Wow, I would have in. agreed. Maybe he started his slide inside of the field. So, oh, Ario, he could not really get his hand under this really low disc. But I think with the di with the rain coming hard the way it is now, yeah, now it's now it's really really pouring down. We got Clemens. Oh, no. oh. oh. amazing! What a nice! That's the second time in a row, Bob. Just really yes. nice passing. Throwing. I don't know how he did, how he did that. He was like already falling and he still managed to to catch the first that game. Was insane. And it was an amazing play there. And there you see a lot of shouting, yeah. a lot of smiling. So now it's a 9-9, so we're kind of uh, an even score. Yeah, happy faces so yeah. here. Yeah, there's like, I didn't even grab his name, like, oh here, it's number eight. Right, with Fabian the Schramm. With the, with the miraculous catch there. Moment we kind and of Trump going again back on the fields again, yeah? He's needed. <laughs> yes, they need him. His, his magic mojo yeah. for the catches. Because I think even I think in a while before he had a catch like a very similar catch before. It's like I think it's the four men on the line that's why he had to, had to come and play. And really great. Teams are warming up, teams are playing. Can see this one. Fab getting ready to pull. Franco with the disc. Playing it. So, and we have Cottingham picking up the disc. <coughs> Find Samarik. Tuskas Yel. People starting to slide a bit more Aye. on the field. Yeah, yeah, I think he lost his equilibrium yeah. trying to cut, and then it was really hard to get a hand on the disc when you're kind of stumbling and falling over. So now Fab get another chance. I think they're riding high right now. Like everything's working for them, and uh, the Wizards, nothing is working. And uh, they they're a bit also in the mood. If it's not working, then it really isn't working. So they think they need to get their head back into the game. 
They, they need some crazy action that, that kind of fires them back up. Let's see what they, what they put out, because this is looking pretty good in terms of flow as well. Four, five, oh, Shram. Unfortunately, this time, he could, not, he could not make his mojo work. The disc was a bit too high for him there. So the Geneva with a chance to go in front again. Yes. Let's see if they but can do some magic But nothing happening option. here, no cuts. And stall count rising. Yes. So pressure on the line there. But Skaziel, of course, yes. saving the moment. When you need help, he will be there. Yeah. <laughs> now we get two people cutting, unfortunately. Cutting each other off. Emmerich. To Cottingham. Yes, this is good flow, this is good flow. Let's keep it working. He needs to get some easy options. And often people need to stay out. Like they get in, everybody wants to help, which does not really help. Stall out. Stall out call there. Well, that's, that was really fast. I didn't count myself, yes. so I wouldn't say anything, but maybe. But there's no contest, yes. so Fab gets the disc. This is a turnover, as mm -hmm. it looks. And yeah, num number 19, Yansei. Did some good cutting. And then Franke with the disc now. Brindisbacher, pick called. Okay. Oh, turning around. This guy is lighter. So maybe you could get through the worst. Okay, you got cutting him. Talking the disc in. Disc is like great put there by Rindlisbacher. That's Gaziel. Oh. Yes. Gets a hand on. But he on. almost. I guess the man almost had the had a hand on the disc as well. I think he was kind of expecting the, the one to come close Gaziel. Because he kn he knows now that uh, uh, this Bachashi that she can put these discs up in the air. And I think it's also good to see that the that the uh, women players also there to throw these discs because sometimes in mixed teams they only just dump the disc. Here they have an essential point. Really great flow there. Number 47 again. Yes. Yes. Schaller. Oh. Kind of a fancy right. defense here. Yes. I think number 16, uh, Fab, Celine, Araya did not touch the disc, yeah. but anyway, it's kind of a confusion if someone mm. just. Yeah, just the being there, the presence yeah. was enough to. Nice open pass and, and puts it long. Great power position play. Can number 90 get there? And he does. And but it's they're calling it out. out. It's too far. Okay. There was too much mustard on that one. It was a, it was a beautiful pass, though. Like really nice. Using the energy and that you have from your cut and then just put it. It was great. It so this put. is a, another long point for the both teams. Still nine nine, and there is a timeout yes, called by Scaciel. Veteran move from Scaciel. And we and will the take timeout. the timeout ourselves as well. I think we'll take we'll uh, we'll to sip some hot tea to stay warm. I'll be back in a second. Right now, he's gonna have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a football. Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Zone. Maybe well. just that boost of the energy they needed.
We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. und erklären dir den Seidarmwurf. Du machst eine Schere zwischen Mittelfinger und Ringfinger, lässt den Mittelfinger und den Zeigefinger an den inneren Rand verschieben. Den Daumen lässt du oben drauf, auf die Rille. Den Ringfinger und den Kleinfinger kannst du aussen nach, um zu stabilisieren. Wir stehen hüftbreit, ausgerichtet dort, wo wir werfen wollen. Und wir machen einen kleinen Ausfallschritt zu der Hand, die wir die Scheibe haben. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this little clip with uh, Sarina from uh, Swiss Ultimate teaching you to throw a forehand throw. Let's hope of the players here on the field watch these clips as well. We have Amarik for the Wizards with the disc here, passing it to Skaciel. Because the Wizards trying to stay in the lead. They had the lead for most of the game and now Fab finally managed to close their gap. 9-9 is the current score. And the Wizards trying to Punch in their 10th point. How does it look? Almost. Good defense there from number eight, Shram. Just enough to like, destroy the focus on number 939. So now Fab, they can try again to actually take the lead themselves now. 87 has the man with the disc. To 68. Hasler looking for her options. To Franke, there was a really high disc, oh, but nice he read one. this nicely. We have Elsemans putting it deep to Rindlisbacher. With no a defense. lot, a lot of space, scoring and bringing Fab in front yes. for the very first time in this game. Yes, they've been training in the start. Like, I think when it started, at one point it was uh, 3 7, and now it's 10 9. Yeah. So, really. Nice comeback. Really nice comeback. To tell your grandchildren. Yes, huh? I don't know what the <laughs> coaches said in the halftime, but uh, I think uh, they're crushing it in the second half here. Yeah. A really nice job there. I think one difference is also that none of the teams is uh, playing zone defense any longer, at least for the moment. They're sticking to person defense. S and uh, really kind of, uh, try I see Fab trying to focus more on the catches and a bit safer throws. Okay, pretty easy. And we have 12 minutes left on the clock for both teams to end this game. Yes. And we got Flavia Hagman with the disc to pull for Fab. That's a relatively short pull with the wet disc. It's sometimes, sometimes a bit tricky to pull it far. So this is an uh, advantage for the Wizards. Can they make that work for them? Again, not a lot of movement from the stack. Oh, and the miscommunication on the dump set there. Mm. Linda going to the disc. Find, finding number 90, Clemence Haller. Yeah, she's doing a great job that Clemence in this game. Always there. Good throws. Nice job there also by Jonathan Coe. I think he, he took off a bit step back from the first points that he played, but maybe he needed to recover. And again, Linda a lot of running yes. and gets the disc. And he's not on only good at ultimate. We have on you our fun fa fun facts list. He's he's a coffee, coffee. How do you say? Drinking a lot of coffee uh, and knows coffee what he does. And even uh, has an Instagram channel on coffee, which is called Doctor Coffee. Oh, Doctor Coffee. Yeah, yeah, okay. So maybe find your way to his Instagram yeah. page. There you go, Mr. Dr. Coffee, Dr. walking off the field after a successful, sc successfully scored point. There you go, get the replay first. The dump set there, pass to Linda, and kind of using 
There one Nike, she sees uh, Jonathan going deep and uh, Jonathan Cole scoring the point. Really nice, precise yeah. passing by Linda here. Yeah. And also I when he was, was living in Lausanne, he always liked to go to, uh, to eat the chicken wings, so maybe those give him wings as well <laughs> for running fast. Good job there, KVF. Rahel Rindisbacher with the pull, with the disc, to pull for Fab. Fab, who really kind of turned around this yeah. game now, 11-9. They, they, they completely did. 11-9 now. And then I think you can also tell this from the player's body language, like how they how they walk and how they hold themselves. Like the wizards now, the, the heads are hanging down a little bit. I think they need to... They need to find the fire in, in themselves again. And this is the first time I think Geneva has Norris Cassiel on the field or Le Président. Yeah. Oh yeah, so Richardson. Yeah. It's like all, all on Emily now. Is, yeah. And Loic. But Loic like also, he's doing a great job. But uh, <laughs> this was like an awkward landing. I think he's injured. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Like, oh, you could tell from the way he was falling. Because I think he was falling on the other, on Elseman's leg. So Scassiel is coming back on No, he has track, to. So <laughs> he didn't necessarily want to, but now he has to. But he did a great job of securing the disc. Uh, oh, he landed on his head. That's what he telling his teammates. But he's walking and talking, so it's like maybe just take a moment to get off. And we got now number 19 with Jan the disc, Sy yeah. Dumping it back. Eimerick looking for his options. There's a pick, yeah. Emily cutting him all on her own. Oh, great oh, defense nice there. Team. And I must say, those two, Scassiel and, uh, so Scassiel 51, Geneva and 87, uh, Anton Elsemans, they have a really good fight. I think they, they've been uh, covering each other for quite a while now in this game and it's a good fight they're having. They're having fun. Yeah, there's a lot of laughing too. Uh, great foot there, but again from the power position. And that's another point for Fab on the board, 12-9 now. And you can really tell like how people walk and run on the line. Like uh, like Fab, they're all on the line and uh, the wizards are kind of walking off the field, yeah. heads hanging down. They need to lift up the chins and show them who's the boss. <laughs> yeah. But as you said, pretty intense. 7-3 it was yeah. back in a, in a time. And now it uh, was turned around 12-9. Yes. So... In the meantime, Fab just really turned around. There we see again, starting off with the Rahel, with the pass to Franke, who just um, immediately puts it deep for Elseman. Walking it in really leger yeah. there. We see the Geneva players having some chats at the sideline, doing some um, strategic... Yeah, road positioning, but I think the main issue is that they just don't have any cuts. Like the cut starts, starts super late and the, the disconnect between handling and, and cutting is then apparent. And if the handlers can get free necessarily, or maybe they're run it running it like this. Because again, you can see there's not a lot of cutting. It completely relies on the handler sets. And if those don't work... <coughs> Ooh. That was the... This zingy disc that slipped through the hands. <laughs> again, but now it's like they need to step it up. Just play defense, get the disc back and try again. I mean, in the first half of the game, they managed to do this quite a lot of times, so they can. And they should remember this, that they can. And this goes back to Geneva. Walking to the mm. disc, we so have number 33, Dimitri Vala. 
be trying to put it deep immediately. But not quite any of his cutters around. Yes. Again, they were, they were just not expecting that it would that it would arrive as a pass, and somehow again it looked as if the the fab play they were expecting it more than his own teammates were. Again, it's a difficult position to be in where they played from. Co at the disc, but there is a call. <coughs> a pick call. There's a bit of a discussion going on, maybe where to <laughs> start again. I just saw in the background some people sliding on the ground on the wet ground. Yeah. And directly we have uh, another turnover. Now the points are getting messy again. And another pick call or foul even. Oh yeah, a little discussion foul. there between Schramm from Bern and Valla from Geneva. Schramm doing a really tight defense work, which seems to be a little too much in, in the eyes of Valla. There we have to call, but I think nicely resolved the situation. Yeah, well they still look friendly, shake hands. Ah, oh, nice shimmy shake there from Mala. Looking for his options. Nice oh. mark here by Schramm, yeah. closing the dump, and his colleague getting the defense. Okay. That is really good teamwork, teamwork here in, de in defense. Again, we got uh, Lederach with the disc, looking for options, passing it straight to a wizard player. Great movement there, oh, unfortunately. That was too hasty. It's always moments of great flow that are then cut short by um, kind of too hasty movement in the flow. <laughs> we got Linda calling, like tying her shoes and directing her team at the same time. This is what you call multitasking. We get number 71 with the disc and another defense there by, by Bernier. 777. It's so hard to tell the, the to say these large numbers. And again Richardson with the disc. She ran on the defense. Got 39 with the 95 with the disc now. Looking for options, does not have a mark. I think there's somebody lurking around somewhere. Great job there by Richardson to keep the focus. Balas cutting back, but the sees number 22. There's good flow there from the Wizards for the moment. We get number 17 with the disc. Oh, that's a low disc. But it looks like a mermaid catch for the score. There we go, the Wizards tighten the gap again a little bit. We get 10, 12 now. With only one last minute on the clock. Oh, wow. So, Geneva quite with the back to the wall here. Yes. Needs needing need really to do need some to breaks. The they points, need yes. to do a break. Let's see if you can see you get a replay of this really fun mermaidy catch there. There we have. Alio with the disc and then trying to find number 39. Oh, yeah. Kind of <laughs> secured it there just between his thighs. <coughs> Good focus there to keep the one safe and off the ground. Okay. And there we go. Moment of truth for the Wizards. They have the disc. <laughs> Flos Cassiel calling for back up from the sidelines. Somebody to talk to him. Maybe they will see another zone then. Um. 
Thank you. We just heard it from the sidelines. So the time is over. Between this point is played, and then one point is added to the highest score, and this is the score that needs to be reached. So it's either game to 13 or game to 14, depending on who scores. And we see a Sony again yes, here yeah. after quite a while of yeah. As I of said, man defense. Yeah, because, because uh, Scassielli was talking from backup from the sideline, so this is often an indication that yeah. uh, well seen, there yeah. might be a zone. We got uh, Rindlisbacher with the disc here, looking for options around or above the zone. That's a nice put there into space for Franco, who has no defense at all. Good positioning there. But there's a good work, th and this time from the cup, it's looking much yeah. better than in the previous points. Again, Some risky the throws yes. here, those knifey backhands. Yeah, but with no wind and there's no backup defense in the back, so I think these ones are a valid option to throw. Especially if you know that you can throw them in a controlled controlled fashion. And Franke again. Now Cottingham, she has a bit of a better position to Ooh. do not permit these ones, but this one was a risky one. So again, th this time the zone, the Wizards don't did their job. So ready, Emmerich calling for his teammates. Has the disc. And trying to, uh, good job there by number 90 to not allow the, to, to not allow the deep pass because uh, Loki was already cutting deep. And an unfortunate drop there. Number 77, Rahel Rindisbacher is picking up the disc for Fab. And uh, well there's kind of some mismatches. So it means her, her male teammates, they actually need to work because they, they some of them should have a female defender. Now they're resolving the mismatches. Good work there by Fab. <laughs> they also struggle a little bit with the cuts, but not as much. Oh, oh nice, nice catch. Nice, not yeah. as much as the Wizards do which is the point. So now it means it's game to 14. It's 13-10 for Fab. Time was over during the previous point, which is now we add one to the highest score, which is 14. So it means the first team reaching 14 points wins this game. Which means again, almost like in the previous point, the um, Fab gets a uh, three match points. You know, so it means again has been confirmed from people around us. It's game to 14, so we have Fab with 13 points. Wizards with 10, and the first team that reaches 14 will win this game. And the chances are relatively high for Fab to do it, but the Wizards, if they really, really get their, their stuff together, they can. <laughs> Yeah, have we have, have we have kind of pressure yeah. here just to be yeah, transparent. The president is just we have Mr. President of, of Geneva <laughs> here in front of us, looking at us, and he's very confident <laughs> that they can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a short pull there from Fab. Get Vala picking up the disc, looking for his options. Yeah, that's a much better movement from the stack there. Small lack of focus for Marie Berda. Clemens Haller now, she has the disc for Fab. Looking for options. Jonathan Cole with the disc to number 13, Linda Lederach. Great flow and, and the score for Fab there by number 12. By number 12, Caroline Murer ends the game here for Bern yes. Flying Angels. Yeah. So After quite Fab some open, open side passes. Um, yeah. Great so flow there, it. yeah. So when the game started off with the Fab mixed tip against the wall, it was at halftime, it was 8-3, and they clawed their way all the way, all the back, back in to uh, finish the game on a win, 14-10. So 14 points for fix and pop mixed hip.
10 points with its mix two. So thank you very much again for listening to us. I hope you had as much fun as we had. And uh, yeah, we stayed relatively dry <laughs> into these conditions. Enjoyed this one. So the next game that we will have will actually be the quarterfinal of for the, the Swiss first Championships. Championships. VGA, yes, and which is in 10 minutes already. So yeah, it will be very soon. And it will be Solabang against Fly High Alpha. So again, uh, team from Central Switzerland against uh, Western Switzerland. So I hope you will join us for that one as well. We're looking forward to it. And until then, we will have some bratwurst and some hot tea. Yeah, yeah. see you, see you in a few minutes. You. We'll be back. Wir stehen hüftbreit ausgerichtet dorthin, wo wir werfen wollen. Und wir machen einen kleinen Ausfallschritt zu der Hand, die wir die Scheibe haben. Dann ist ganz wichtig beim Werfen das Handgelenk. Aus dem Handgelenk machen wir so einen Kick, damit möglichst viel Drall auf die Scheibe kommt und die schön fliegt. Das ist viel wichtiger als die Kraft selber. Die Wurfbahn von Scheiben kann man in dem verändern, dass man den Winkel anpasst. Das heisst, man kann die Aussenkante aufstellen. Dann macht das Frisbee einen Bogen aussen. Und wenn man die Aussenkante runterhängen lässt, dann macht sie eine Innenkurve. Du möchtest so werfen können wie Sarina? Dann melde dich doch unverbindlich bei einem unserer Clubs und erfahre alles über Ultimate, die schnelle Teamsportart mit dem Frisbee. Alle Infos findest du auf unserer Verbandswebseite ultimate.ch. Wir freuen uns, von dir zu hören. So, jetzt wünsche ich euch ganz viel Spaß beim Schieben. Always on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Alti.tv